Welcome to Jokes of the Week. Why aren't koalas counted as bears? They don't have the right qualifications. Why don't hunters play poker in the jungle? There are too many cheetahs. That's all I have for you today, and I hope you have a great week. Hey guys, welcome back to Roving Reporter. Today I'm here with Zane. Zane's in grade 10. She's going to be telling us a little about, bit about her personal project product. So what's your product? So my product is a clay sculpture of a heart in between two burger buns to kind of um, like raise awareness about how fast food can affect your health because I've noticed so many people order like fast food and not realize you know the effects of it on your body wow that's really cool okay so how did you go about making the product like what was your process so at first um i didn't actually want to make a sculpture because i um, i don't have any experience you know in sculpting but after um you know looking through google researching i found so many inspirations and that kind of got me started and you know i realized you know maybe this is what i want to do to it was like it was a fun way i later i thought it was like a fun way to kind of make my product yeah that's yeah it's really cool it's so it sounds fun um so what challenges did you have while making your product so i don't know how to sculpt that was my first time so that was definitely a challenge cuz every time i tried to piece the clay together it just kept on like falling apart and it was horrible but after like watching youtube videos and tutorials over time i you know i learned which was and then after that it was honestly great really fun yeah so what was what did you enjoy the most about the experience honestly learning how to sculpt and also researching cuz you know i want to get into medicine and the research part learning about the body was a really fun experience and yeah just learning how to sculpt in general i really like using my hands during art and stuff so that was fun to do. Okay. And what did what advice would you have for like kids that are going to do the personal project next year? So the advice I would give is to never procrastinate. Thanks to Miss Holly, we had a schedule and deadlines that we had to meet, uh which I'm really thankful for. And um but yeah, something I would not recommend is uh, to procrastinate. Definitely learn to manage your time. Thank you so much, Zane. Today I'm here with Avril in in grade 10. Um we're going to ask her a few questions about her personal project product. So Avril, what's your product? Uh my product is a music video um out of my own songs that I wrote and I'm not singing but I play the guitar in the band. So yeah. So how did you go about making the product? What was your process? Um uh, well first I looked at a few music videos, other videos to like get inspiration and ideas. And I don't know, I did some research on how to make a music video, different types of ways to do it, and yeah, I just went from there. Wow. Um what did you find the most challenging about making your product? Um honestly, I thought that making the song was going to be easy since it's something that I like to do, but it was kind of, it's pretty hard, but oh, overall it was just mostly the song itself to put it together with other videos, but it it was fine. Yeah. So, what did you enjoy the most? Um I enjoyed um like making the videos and like filming the videos with my band and friends and other people. and yeah it was just really fun at that. Yeah. It sounds really fun. Like you and Zane both did something that you love, which is really cool. Yeah. So what advice would you have for people who are going to do personal project in the future or next year even? Honestly, I think it's like what everyone says, but you ha- you have to manage your time with doing like everything and I don't know, just keep things in like organized so you can get them done. like yeah just manage your time. Yeah, man I've heard that a lot manage your time, time yeah. management. But yeah, thank you Avril. Thank you so much.
Early Childhood and Lower School will be celebrating our 100th day of school this year by having an ACS Maths Week. Starting on Monday, January 31st until Sunday, February 6th, we will spend each day celebrating all things math with challenges, activities, and more. We will begin our celebrations by having a school-wide competition. Monday, February 7th is Anti-Bullying Day, so wear pink to show support. Next week, February 8th to 10th is off for Qatar Sports Day, so be sure to participate by being active. Grade 10 student Diora has created an informational poster about online security and gave some tips on how to stay safe online from hackers and other cyber attacks. Thanks Diora for sharing this with our community.